Okay, today I'm building a paddock for some pigs. Actually, it's kind of a multi-use paddock so I can catch up my sheep. And um, I've wanted some pigs for a while because I like the productivity of pigs and I, I like bacon. Uh, everybody likes bacon. Bacon's good with ice cream, um, fruit and vegetable. Bacon's good with everything, it's just bacon. And I make decent bacon. Also, I make good sausage. So um, what, I'm, what I'm doing is I, I have a friend who's a New Zealander and uh, he's wanted pigs forever too, and, uh, but he has a dairy farm. He has some issues with his workers that he has to buy them all pigs too. He'd rather not do that. So I'm gonna house the pigs here. And right, the, right now we're looking at three sows. Uh, two of the sows have uh, 10 piglets each and uh, one of the other sows has uh, three piglets. The sows are two years, two years, and three year olds, so the proven sows. Um, I don't know what breed they are. They look like Gloucester Old Spots, but they're probably just whites. So uh, anyways, you guys get to watch me a little bit as uh, Thomas and I build a paddock or a little pig pen, and then eventually it'll be a paddock for all the livestock. I hope to pasture, thank you. I hope to pasture feed raise my pigs as best I can, but uh, until I get the piglets a little bit bigger and I get more fence up, um, they're going to have to stay in the, in the pig pen. So um, I don't think this pig pen is going to be permanent for pigs. Uh, on the other side of the farm is where I'd like to put the, the pig pen and uh, because it's out of sight and odor distance as well. So we'll just see how it goes. But anyhow, um, the pig pen is 1 by 12 boards, which are creosote treated. I treated them myself. They're pines, cheap wood, probably rotten a year. Um, I took it from my, my old paddock that I have. Um, pigs don't put a lot of weight on those boards. If I was using cattle, uh, I'd do 2 by 6s, 2 by 8s. Um, sheep don't put a lot of weight on them either, but they're bolstered from behind uh, every 5 feet with posts either way. And so it's 125 inches by 125 inches with a, a gate that I built. But you probably see the gate over there. Anyways, anyways, here we go. Okay, so it started out this morning. I was going to build a sheep paddock, and I'm still going to. The problem is. I went over to the car to get the lumber from uh, my other, all well, my lumber, and uh, sure enough, the tire's flat. So I start looking at one tire, the rear tire, and uh, kind of rotating, moving the car back and forth to find the nail, and I see another nail in the front tire. So I got two tires that need to be plugged. So that's life on the farm, though. Um,